Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV, and I had a customer write me. Uh, he's got a Modula 7, um, and it's got a FlySky receiver on it. And he asked me how you can get the RSSI inside uh, the RSSI from the uh, Jumper TX16S to appear on his OSD. Problem is, is um, well, I have to set one up here. And so I had to take it apart though, because I need to be able to desolder the VTX so it doesn't interfere with our transmission here, okay? So um, that's why mine looks like this. This is actually brand new. The box is sitting right here. But like I said, I have to open it up so I could disconnect the camera and VTX combo so that I could turn this on and show you what to do. So we're gonna go through some setup steps. We're actually gonna start, I'm gonna have to set this up. So here we go. Let me just split the screen up here real quickly and show you what we got. So with this apart, and I'm gonna show you the computer screen in a second, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to um, plug in my USB cable. Let me make sure I line this up right. And we should go just like that. There we go. So everything lights up. Okay, and then from there, let's go ahead and uh, put our screen here, and there you go. So we're gonna watch exactly how we're gonna do this part. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click connect, all right, and we're gonna go to our CLI, and because we wanna update this. Now, I've already copied these files before, and they're, they're actually open right now, but this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to your CLI, and I want you to type in the word D-I-F-F, -F, and then I want you to hit enter. And then when you see this, I want you to take your cursor and go from the, click on the batch end at the end of that line there and scroll all the way up until you get to that uh, uh, hashtag diff right there. Once that's all blue and selected, I want you to right click on it, left click on copy. And then I want you to open, let's say notepad like I have done here. And I want you to click on edit and click on paste. And I want you to save this, okay? Now I've done this already here. Uh, so my diff file is right here and I saved it just like this, okay? Mob7 basic fly sky factory diff file.txt. So save this however you want, but leave it open because you're gonna need it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna put my old one down here, all right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to go back here, go back to your text line underneath here. And this is just out of, for me out of habit. This is what I do, so I'm just showing you. I want you to type in dump and I want you to hit enter and that's gonna give you your entire configuration set. It's your full beta flight settings right here of everything, not just the differences from from the uh, default um, uh, firmware, but everything. So I also like to copy all of these things here. And I want you to go to where you find the command, the hashtag, uh, let me see if I gotta find it here first. Hold on, the hashtag dump, which is right here. So now, you still have the diff stuff up here. Now you go to your hashtag dump, select it all, right click on it, left click on copy, launch another notepad, okay? and click on paste. And if that went too fast, just pause it and go back. But basically, I'm right clicking on my start button here in Windows. I'm going to run. I've typed in the word notepad. That's why I don't have to type it again. But if you'll just type that and click OK, it'll open another notepad, OK? I want you to paste your entire uh, um, uh, dump file as well right here. And then I want you to save both of them, OK? And save them to a spot that you know. And make sure to label one that it's a dump file.txt and one that it's a diff file.txt. And I'm going to close both of mine because I have already have this saved and you'll see exactly how I named mine. So I don't wanna say that one, so look at these two. I've got both of these here, which is what you should have. I've got my mob7 basic blah, 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 dump file.txt and my mob7 basic blah, 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 diff file, okay? Right now we're gonna focus on the diff file, but at least you have both of them, so you can set this right back to factory the way it was sent to you if you make a mistake. So let's minimize these two now because we wanna do a firmware update, okay? So when you're done with that, just go ahead and click disconnect. Okay, and then I want you to click update firmware. Now, if you look at the files here, you're gonna see, let's just pick the dump file, for example. You're gonna see, here's your firmware right here, Crazy B f 4 fs Now they put in 4.0.6, we're gonna update that, but this is what we're looking for as our target, okay? So go here, and there it is, Crazy B f 4 fs and we're gonna go with 4.2.9, and we're gonna leave everything else like it is. No reboot sequence off, full chip erase on, manual baud rate off, we're not gonna ever show unstable. We're gonna click load firmware online. And once that's ready, we're gonna flash the firmware. Now pay attention, this is just gonna do this part. Okay, this is gonna go pretty quick. And then from here, we're gonna stop the video here and that'll be part one, flashing the firmware for your Mobula 7. Part two is gonna be setting up your uh, transmitter. And we're gonna set up the TX16S for this one since this is what my customer is using, okay? So let's just give this a second to flash. And we're not done yet. We still have to copy our diff file back over. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I believe you're gonna see one error of a PWM channel seven. This is, don't worry about it, it doesn't matter. So just follow what I do here and I promise you it's gonna come out looking just fine.
Okay, so let's give it one second. Okay, now it says programming successful, so we can go ahead and connect. And it's gonna ask us to apply custom defaults, that's fine. And then we're gonna get probably something about the accelerometer calibration when we connect, ready? Here, there, accelerometer is not enabled, or it's enabled but not calibrated, Could close. Now I'm gonna calibrate mine sitting at this angle because um, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm gonna click calibrate, and I always do this by habit reset, okay? Now look, what we wanna do next is go back to our CLI, okay? You're gonna see now that you're gonna have your newest firmware. Uh, well, you have everything ready actually. It's all it's gonna show you here, it should be. Uh, and we're gonna go now and open our notepad that had our diff file. This is the one that says diff right here. Edit, select all, edit, copy. Then come over to this text line here where it says write your command here, right click and left click on paste. And then I want you to hit enter, okay? Now that one red line, if you saw it real quickly, it says there was an error. And I'll just scroll, scroll up here to show you what that is. It's a PW7, uh, PWM7, there it is. And it's just a resource issue, I'm not gonna worry about it. So we're gonna go ahead down here, right where it says batch end, and you're, you see this, that it says there's an error. There was an error detected, fine. I want you to type save, okay? At this point, we have now updated our firmware and loaded the factory configuration back. So if we click connect, you can go to your ports. You will see that it has the VTX uh, TBS smart audio set. You can see that it's got your DSHOT 600 set and that it even has your uh, receiver information. So, and then we should have the following, I believe turned on. Uh, okay, so we have telemetry and OSD. Uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, LED strip and OSD. I'm also gonna turn on telemetry, okay? And I'm just gonna click save and reboot. And that's it, all right? At this point, guys, uh, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video here. Please rewatch this video and make sure you get this set exactly like I have. And then the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set your uh, radio up, okay? So I'll be right back with this in just a second. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm going to. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go ahead and say it like this. Um, please subscribe to our channel. I was trying to debate if I want to do this at the beginning. Please subscribe to our channel, uh, guys. I'd always appreciate your support. And I'll give you the whole uh, long ending later. Um, but uh, there's our, our, our address here, okay? And we'll talk to you in just a minute. Peace.